Yo, what's going on, everybody? This is Dylan Talk Sports. My name is Dylan. In today's video, what we're going to be discussing is the Dallas Cowboys just beat the ever-loving snot piss out of the New York Giants. The final score was Dallas Cowboys 40, New York Giants 0. Now, before I go any further, I'm going to go ahead and say it straight up front. I'm not a Dallas Cowboys fan. I'm not even like a fan of the, one of the teams within the division where I'm like, I, I have to hate the Cowboys because I'm a fan of either the Commanders, Eagles, or Giants. That's not what this is. What this video is going to be is reacting to the game and then kind of giving my opinion on are the Cowboys legit this year? Are they contenders? Are they going to the Super Bowl? I'm going to go ahead and summarize it and say, short answer, no. Just to let you know, I'm one of those people that I am just loving all this Cowboys hype because according to the man Stephen A. Smith on ESPN, I am right there with him on this. I love when the emotions go high and then we can just plummet at the end of the year. But I'm going to get all into it, break it down. So if you do want to enjoy today's video, as always, make sure you do drop a like. And without further ado, let's get into it. Now, to start off with the Dallas Cowboys, the game, obviously, like I said, 40 to nothing. They just beat the shit out of the Giants. There's not really much to get into the game because, obviously, the score kind of says everything you need to know. The only thing I will say is about 11 to 10 minutes left to go in the first quarter was the last time we thought the Giants had a chance to win that game. That was the moment where they got the field goal blocked and the, Gi the Cowboys just ran the ball the entire way back. Now, coming into the game, did I think it was going to be more of a, I guess you could say, competitive game? I was hoping so. I kind of thought the Cowboys would win the game, but I thought it was going to be more like a 31 14 type victory maybe the giants would at least put up some points but the game ultimately ended up being like i said just an ass kicking blocked field goals missed field goals interceptions i kind of enjoyed it a little bit for my fantasy team because cowboys i had their defense but besides that i think a lot of people are overreacting to this game a little bit and i realize every other team in the nfl is all over all overreacting i'm overreacting maybe a little bit with my browns beating the Bengals. but for every single team in week one you're kind of entitled to overreactions but the cowboys they overreact a lot and when i say a lot i mean it doesn't matter if it's week one four seven ten eighteen they are going to freak out over any victory they take to the highest standards of overreacting as possible and for some people you will look at teams that maybe have just been bad the past few years like the browns and other teams maybe like the Bengals, whenever they first started getting good you look at these teams and you're gonna say why are you overreacting you have no room to overreact you're bad and that's the point we've been bad we deserve to kind of freak out and have fun and enjoy these wins. Whereas the Cowboys, you are the team that, uh, pardon me if I'm wrong, you're the team that for the past, I don't know, 25, 30 years have been saying, you know we're going to the Super Bowl this year, right? They say it every single fucking year. You know we're going to the Super Bowl. Yes, I know you're going to the Super Bowl, but I'm just waiting for when it's actually going to happen. Like every year, they say it. The regular season comes. Sometimes they struggle. Sometimes they do pretty good. And the years where they do pretty good, they get to the playoffs and they can't win a fucking playoff game. Like in the past 25 years, 26 years, I think, how many playoff wins have they won? Oh, that's right. I believe it's like four. And the only time in the Dak Prescott era, two. They won the one back against, I believe, the Seattle Seahawks whenever they went on to the division round and lost to the Rams when the Rams went to the Super Bowl. And then they won one last year against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, but I don't really count that win because we all knew the entire season. Tom Brady was at the end of his career. They were playing like shit. The Cowboys had an easy win there. Now, looking at this Cowboys team going forward, what what are they built on they're built on a a fucking elite shutdown defense check and they're built on a run game they have that tony pollard's gonna be the running back i don't know if he's gonna be the bulldozing back i, I forget who their uh, other running back on the roster is if he's the, gonna be like the the third and down or third and goal fourth goal type of running back where they need to get that one yard i don't know who their back is for that because tony pollard isn't that he's more of your swifty move around the Kind of be your more agile back going and hitting the home run hitting yards and then when i watched dak prescott play throughout yesterday's game it wasn't the prettiest of games now there could be the fact of i believe mike mccarthy is now calling the plays for the dallas cowboys everybody said all off season they're going to be running the ball more so dak prescott wasn't really in charge of having to like make a lot of tough throws which that seemed like they was what they were trying to do with him i mean when i look at his stats he went 13 to 24 for 143 yards no touchdowns no interceptions just like a simple average game he didn't get sacked and he only ran basically had to run away one time he got about six yards on it and when it comes to the receiving core the most leading receiver was cd lamb he had four catches for about 77 yards like i said no touchdowns across the entire receiving core but i mean they weren't really asked to do much and you know why they weren't asked to do much because that fucking defense this is a nice little segue to move into that defense um holy fuck i'm sorry for cussing a lot but micah parsons Dudes, if he don't win Defensive Player of the Year this year, we riot. 
I might be a little bit being a little bit over dramatic there. That dude is a freak of nature. The moves he was putting on offensive linemen there uh, throughout this game, it looked like the linemen were doing everything they could, but the dude was like made out of butter. Like they couldn't grab him, they couldn't stop him. They were he was running people over. I don't know how you stop the guy. I've seen some people comparing him to the next Lawrence Taylor. I don't know if I'd go that far. I wasn't alive when Lawrence Taylor was playing, so I can't really speak that much on it. But I mean, when we look at the Giants offense, how they did, let's see here. Let me read off the stats for you. Daniel Jones, 15 to 28, 104 yards, two interceptions, seven sacks. That, that, that's not good. And then when you look at the carries, you look at them and you say, well, Barkley had 12 carries, 51 yards. For 12 carries only and 51 yards, that's not that bad. It's just then you wonder, where did the, like, why was there no points? Oh, that's right. Because this defense of the Cowboys, they stood up and made basically a wall when they got down there around like the 40, 35, 30 yard line and just sealed them off. And then from there, it ended up making them have to kick field goals. And oh yeah, uh, Graham Gano, their kicker, he went 0 for 2. And then I mentioned there was also two fumbles from the Giants. Actually, no, take that back. Five fumbles. They recovered four of them, but one of them was lost though. Now, obviously for this game, and a lot of games around the league, the Browns game and Bengals, I think the Steelers and the 49ers game had some rain as well. There were a lot of games around the league that were dealing a lot, mainly in the Northeast of the United States, were dealing with a lot of rain. So that was kind of making everybody the ball slippery. People weren't able to really throw the ball that well. Running the ball was tough because you were fumbling a lot. And you could really see the rain coming down. I, I pretty much stopped watching around like the beginning of the fourth quarter because at that point you could see the rain coming down. The game was pretty much over. The score was put out of way. But you could see the guys' jerseys, especially the Giants' jerseys. It looked like they were just like soaked, dirt all over them, grass covered. I'm gonna kind of wrap it up by saying this about the Cowboys. Cowboys fans, look, look, look at me, look at me. Uh, get, get close with me. Do not overreact to this win. If you stayed this far into the video, listen to me. I know you want to freak out over this win. You want to look at this team and you want to say, "Oh my God, we have the 85 Bears defense." We're going to be, we're going to the Super Bowl this year. Don't do it yet. Do not do it yet. I'm speaking to you as a way of giving you, like trying to bring your standards down just a little bit. Don't get your hopes up so you're crushed at the end of the year like you do every single year. I am trying to help you. And this is coming from a person that loves watching you cry and suffer and get pissed at the end of the year and break your TVs. Wait until about maybe week six, seven, eight. If y'all are like six and two, seven and one by then, let your hopes get up a little higher. Then wait till later on in the season. If you're still doing good, it's okay to be happy. It's okay to be ecstatic. Like, hey, my team's doing pretty good right now. But don't throw that word Super Bowl around ever. It's one thing to throw around playoffs. Playoffs are acceptable. Like for me as a Browns fan, I'm throwing around playoffs because that is the standard for this team. If this team don't make playoffs, we got some talking to do. But when it comes to the Cowboys, like I said, have playoffs on your mind. Have trying to maybe win your division on your mind. That is respectable. But y'all come out here and you just like, put Super Bowl, you need to win the Super Bowl as your standard. And when you don't get there, you fucking freak. So my advice to all of you, keep your standards a little bit lower. Don't throw around the SB word. Don't throw it around. Don't even talk about Super Bowls. And then I think what's gonna happen now is if this team is legit, say you make the playoffs. Say you win the wildcard round. Say you win the divisional round. First time you've been to an NFC title game in 1995 96 i think at that point you can be a static you can be over the moon happy but don't just assume you're going to the super bowl win the nfc title game first then you can say oh my god we're going to the super bowl but overall i given you hope i given you some advice to not get your spirits crushed am i hoping you still get your hopes up so i can watch you get your spirits crushed yes a lot in the famous words of stephen a smith just wait be patient what can go wrong will go wrong but other than that that's all i got to talk about for today's, today's video if you're a fan of the cowboys let me know what you think is going to happen this season in the comment section down below are you a, are you excited for the season what did you think about the cowboys and giants game are you one of those people that's going to get your hopes up what do you think is going to happen this year and if you're not a cowboys fan and you're on my side with you're just waiting for them to crumble let me know in the comment section what you thought about the game and kind of how you think their season's going to go. If you wanted to enjoy today's video, as always, make sure you do drop a like. It's always appreciated if you do so to let me know you're enjoying the video that you just watched. If you're brand new to the channel and you want to go ahead and help me out, hit that big red subscribe button and make sure you hit that little notification bell so you're notified the second I post. If you want to follow me on any of my social medias, they're always down in the description, my Twitter, Instagram, and my TikTok. But without further ado, this has been Don Talk Sports. Have a great day. Peace.